Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to look at uh, using wire EDM to make this part. All right, so if you caught my last live stream, you probably saw that I was looking at different approaches to making a part. Uh, we're doing a replacement part. This, uh, this is the original part, and it appears to be like a cast aluminum uh, based on, I don't know how well you'll be able to see if that'll even focus or not, but definitely the grain structure and everything. You know, it looks like it's a cast. Uh, and you can even see the way that it failed. It, it bent and then finally broke, right? Um, the, uh, I guess this is used for some sort of um, engine hoist. I don't know all the details around it, uh, but uh, I was asked to make it out of steel. Drawing just took a few minutes. Didn't take a whole lot of time to figure out how to, how to draw this. I started looking at m making it on the mill, which was my, going to be my original, my original process. And uh, work holding became a real issue. Just trying to figure out how to, how to hold it. Because uh, let's say you started with a block, right? And we could have done it this way, right? So it's coming in like this. Uh, well, if we're clamping this way, once we get over here, we could do this part, but then we'd hit, we'd hit something over here, right? So let's say we clamped it this way so that it's open. Well, you'd still be hitting this side. So we could clamp it upright and then come in and work through some stuff and then come in and do some cleanup. And it was going to take several, several setups and it was really getting ugly. I'm um, trying to program it. I just was not having a good day. Let's put it that way. Reached out to a friend of mine who said, Hey, that really looks like an EDM part. Why don't we try that? And so that's exactly what we did. And um, I did shoot some footage. I mean, this is a production facility, so I, I, I could only, you know, do so much there. But I did shoot some footage. I've never done EDM before. And it was kind of neat to see. Um, this was, uh, I needed to do a pre-drilled hole. And actually, <laughs> this is what happens when you, when you, measure off of the radius or and calculate diameters and you know, forget to keep it consistent. So when I pre-drilled that hole, it was off. It was on the center of the part and not in the, you know, not accounting for the uh, diameter. Oops, made a mistake there. Um, but it still worked out fairly well and this is going to be fine uh, for what they're using it for. I made sure there's no stress risers in there. Everything is good. So that part's okay. But let's take a look at some of the, the video that, that we did. Wow. Wow. 
the five bells are. I mean, do you ever actually hear anything? Or? Oh, yeah. drilled it so that the wire is going to place the thread
part. Just need some good burn and crossbow drill, but yeah. So as you can see, it did a good job. It still took it took a couple of hours. So I don't know that it was any faster um, to do it this way than it would have been maybe to do it on the mill. Um, but it definitely was more secure. It did not uh, require multiple setups. The only thing that I did have to do is I, I had to put it up on its end so I could do this cross hole. Um, but otherwise, pretty straightforward. Uh, I threw it in the uh, bead blaster. But I mean, that, these finishes are just amazing on here. And that was at the rough cut um, settings. It, we, didn't, we didn't do like the fine cut settings. So pretty, pretty darn cool. I know there's a lot of folks who, who tease about the guys that run the EDM machines, but um, it definitely had me going, hmm, I wonder if I have space for an EDM machine in here. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to see uh, more of this kind of video, and I'll see you again real soon.